So how do I combine two designs in my B hoop rather than in the Giga hoop? Well, we'll stick with the two designs that we've already been using and open those up. Here we go. Design number one. And there he is in the embroidery hoop. But I need to be able to marry this up with my other design in a moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to very quickly put in an alignment line. And it's not difficult. I want my other design to come to about here. I'm just going to digitize a line down there. OK. And that will stitch at the end of this design. Now I'm going to hide my hoop. I'm going to go to Setup, Work Environment, and ask it to make the outside of the hoop the same color. OK. There is that line that I just digitized. Edit, select all, edit, group, right. A little bit's quite important. And now insert, let's go and get design 42. Open, group, and turn this poor little fella up the right way. There we go. And I want him to sit that close. Let me just turn this down a little, so as we can see. OK. Click off that for a moment. There are my two little figures. And I want these to be just that teeny bit closer. So I'm going to find this line. I'm going to tell that on group. Highlight that line. There he is. I'm going to move that line. bit too close. So I'm going to use my left arrow key to move it back to where I want it. And I'm going to highlight this one and I'm going to move him across using my left arrow key. So he's close to but not actually touching that line. Control D. Actually I'm going to make that color which isn't repeated anywhere in the design. Peony purple. That will do colors. Still not quite there. There he is. I'm going to make that one bright green. This one will leave his peony purple. Highlight that one all the way up to the top. Edit Group. Copy. Paste. There is my design. So I save him as one. I go back to my other window. Delete him. Show my hoop. Edit, select or edit group. Thank you. Now I bring that to center. And there's my design. With its alignment mark. So there's my little monkey sat in the center of his hoop with his alignment mark. Design 2. There we go. There's his alignment line. Now what I generally do is I stitch my design, I stitch my alignment line, I hoop my stabilizer for the second part, 
and I stitch the first part, which is the alignment line from the next design, on the stabilizer. I then take my hoop off my machine and using a couple of drawing pins, press one in at one end, one in at the other end. I've got my template pinned onto my fabric where I want it. I then press, sorry, I put spray adhesive on my stabilizer, the quilter spray adhesive. Not a lot, doesn't need a lot and it holds quite a long time. If you use too much it'll gum your needles up. If you use a light spritz it's enough to hold your fabric and allow you to baste your fabric to your hoop. I then align the pins, the thumbtacks coming through the back of my stabilizer with the ends of these. When they're in position I then smooth my fabric onto my stabilizer making certain that I haven't pulled it off center in the middle here. No wrinkles, no bubbles, it's not stretched, it's not loose. I take the pins out of the back, I quickly stick a couple of dressmakers pins where they're not going to get in the way, say up here and there, across the corners where they're not going to impede the embroidery foot and the same at the bottom and maybe one just here and then I put it onto my hoop arm open my design up and start stitching okay okay file save as Jeff monkey align Okay, window, file, save as, Jeff, Ted, align. Okay, close that one, close that one, insert, Ted, align, this one I would stitch first, group, move him over, insert, monkey align, open, edit, group, ok I've stitched out my Ted, I've put my safety pins, my drawing pins rather, through the ends of my alignment line, I've got my fabric which I then lay and my fabric's got the paper template pinned to it and I line up those pins top and bottom and there's my giga hoop design without the giga hoop